and you've got to be able, if you're going to be a championship team, to win in all kinds of conditions. You've got to be able to succeed on a night with no wind, and you got to be able to make tough throws on a windy night. There's a good hammer from Matt Jackson and Kevin Rick tonight. It's Hunter Taylor's first game with the Flyers since their drubbing of the Madison Radicals back on Memorial Day weekend. It's been a while. Here's Fairfax going deep, and after the first point for Raleigh took almost two minutes, the second takes just 15. Ian's going to submit an a invoice for overtime. Not only is he calling the game, he's also holding the monitor and preventing it from being blown away. And after the whistle, a quick restart. Richardson in the end zone for the rough cuts hands from the Roughnecks on this deep point. Two other playoff games going on simultaneously as Jack Williams streaks deep, surrounded by Roughnecks, and on the second effort, Williams makes the catch as his defenders tumble together. The man is LaRock. Seven seconds for Dallas, trailing by two. Malachek in a pretty good spot, goes over the top, and that is caught by Richardson in the back of the end zone for the right. Offensively on, on the upwind side of the field. Absolutely, and with that force, you're not being pushed away from that opportunity. There's Brett Matsuka bidding for the D. Have to fight through and could be a slight edge for the Roughnecks. How does your mindset change as a cutter in these conditions? Well, I think more than ever, you have to zero in and focus on the catching element more sure. so than you do. A lot of times when there's a break, Raleigh converts to start the second quarter. Richardson recovers again. The ability to recover in these conditions is paramount. And how about that throw? Misha Freistadter with a Obviously, last weekend's playoff game between New York and DC comes to mind, but other games in. Cretella looking for Allen. What a throw. Allen runs it down. Raleigh's roll continues. 60 mile an hour winds rolling in off the flat irons and the foothills. Chris Larberg to Dan Emmons, slicing it through. First goal for Dallas since the buzzer beater to end the opening quarter. It's going to be and how the <laughs> elements will evolve over the next hour. Oh, there's the great defense on the dump by Dalton. Leadership responsibilities this year. 25 years old, one of the three captains. Carson Wilder over to Smith, looking to the end zone. It's floating well, and it's caught. Connor Olsen. But that wind just pushing the scuba down as soon as he released it. Matsuka rips it to Helton. The wind is taking it. Helton trying to box out. He does it perfectly. Jonathan Goose Helton, ladies and gentlemen. Mild-mannered players. He was not happy to put that disc down. He was convinced that he got his hand under it. Really and close. Tough to tell looking at it one time there. I, I, that one, yeah, I do think he had it just based on that one replay. Rowley able to pay it off. A quick answer. Saul to Justin Allen. Sacrifice the yardage, but. That throw was impervious to the conditions. Fairfax takes off. Helton looking for him, and there's Dylan Larberg. The future daddy gets up high for the D. A couple seconds there with that open break side window, but no one cutting to that space for Larberg. There's the look that he wants. Stoughton Smith converts. Marbach in the end zone. Aviators in a presumably an aerial matchup. Here's Nethercut shooting deep. Jack Williams on his horse, and he won't get there. If Dallas wins in, they come from behind, then the, the Roughnecks would take on the Empire, and the Radicals and the Aviators would match up in the semis. Larberg shooting long. Joel Clutton hanging out. He's in the end zone. He's got the score. Roughnecks within three. Carson Wilder almost threw it away, but the wind that time helped to keep it up. And LaRock full extension for the bid, and then finds Richardson for the score. Doing 
jumping jacks on the mark. Ben Lewis, low throw, that hit the grass. It's down, Dallas has possession. And that was a casual, quick release from Nethercutt. That's not gonna cut it when he's fighting this crosswind. Over the top, to the end zone, that's good! Connor Olsen hauls it in. Floats it for Cisco with 10 seconds in the quarter. Cisco through the double team, and it's stolen away by Froude. And that's the worst thing that could have happened. Dallas at the buzzer, gets back within one. Play on the disc though. Going to need to get a second look at that one to form a strong opinion there. Mitchell blades it to Helton. 15 14 flyer. Birdie had more scoring in the fourth quarter this week than we had in DC last week when the Empire and Breeze went 12 minutes with no goals. There's Jay Frood showing up. Skying Joey Critz. After playing a couple seasons with the Madison Radicals, trying to earn the right to go back to Madison. Nethercutt shoots it, Mitchell's going. Chris Larberg chasing, and Mitchell skies him! It was Dylan Larberg who was the victim of Mitchell's insane. The game has had plenty of breaks. It has not been the two teams trading points all night long. There's Matt Jackson coming up huge. And it looked like that disc just slipped out of Saul's hand. He looked like he was trying to pump fake a flick. Jackson was there, and then he dishes the score to Smith. Fairfax of, resets for Lou. A lot of hands in the back of the stack there as Nethercut sneaks deep. Near the pylon, Nethercut unable to haul it in. That's a big, that's a that's a 40-yard slide right there. Can he hand on it? Up the line. Oh, it's Dalton Smith who unwinds, sending Ben Lewis. Kieran Allen chasing, Lewis is there! And for the first time tonight, the Roughnecks take the lead. Not giving any direction underneath or out. Jackson shooting it, David Richardson didn't realize until he did, and he comes up with a block on Carson Wilder. Two recent Callahan nominees going head to head, Marbach at Texas A&M, Williams for UNC Wilmington. How about this hammer, is this gonna work? It is! Frey Stoddar was there for the end zone score. And Raleigh back in front on the road. Being chased by Hunter Taylor. Jay Frude takes the shot. There goes Richardson, turns on the Jets and makes the clean catch. <laughs> Who sees Helton. Everyone except Bob Lou has touched the disc on this point, and Terrence Mitchell for that matter. Saw count rising, and there is the seven second stall. Dallas will have possession. And Helton is frustrated because he's claiming that Larberg touched the disc and touched his forearm multiple times. He's asking for an integrity rule call. These are the moments that test your mental toughness and your mental composure. When you feel you've been wronged, can you stay composed and execute? That could have been a pick call, went uncalled, and in the end zone, what a recovery! Back of the goal line, in bounds! Are you kidding me, Chris LaRock? Downfield adjustments from these Raleigh defenders. You see Justin Allen doing everything he can to back Kevin Richardson, put his forearm in his back. Looking for Matt Jackson, he breaks away from Hartzog and makes the catch for the Roughnecks. And Raleigh needs to score quickly here to have a chance. Terrence Mitchell's going, Nethercut's firing, and that is a beautiful dime from Nethercut to Mitchell. You hope he's not hurt. Nethercut with 37 seconds. Looking up the line, it's denied! Dalton Smith comes up with a block for the Roughnecks. 30 seconds completion with less than seven seconds remaining basically ends the game. Dallas needs just a couple more conversions. Eight seconds to go, and that might do it. 
Larberg to Slack, and the Dallas Roughnecks have done it again, coming from six goals down to win it 20 to 19.